Welcome to the latest edition of File O'Clock News. February 10th, 2013. Santa Fe Police Department investigating the following. Item. <sighs> a man reported Friday that a someone forced open his front door, stole his iPad, some medical marijuana and growing equipment. Item. Police arrested Keith Romero Coleman for possession of a controlled substance on Friday. Advice to the Santa Fe Police Department. Two and two equals four. Just saying. Item. Someone broke through a bedroom window in the residence of so-and-so and took clothing and other items from the closet and cabinet and took nothing. Not even shoes. Clothing and other items, somebody just broke into the house, rummaged through the closet cabinets, couldn't find anything nice to wear, and then just left. February 9, 2013. Item. A woman said that her ex-boyfriend broke into her house and stole two 9mm handguns. She made a report. Advice to this woman. Your ex-husband, your ex-boyfriend knows where you live. You know he now has two handguns. And you filed a police police report. Just saying, this can't end well. I don't want to read a follow-up uh, police report on that one. By golly, February eight, two thousand thirteen. Item. A man reported that while he was letting his two thousand three car warm up outside his house. The vehicle was stolen by the two men who had been outside at the time he started his car to warm it up. If I were this person's insurance company, I'd say, no, denied claim, you're too fucking stupid to get your money back for that car. Advice from Desert File. If there's strangers hanging around waiting for you to, to warm up your car, then let the engine run with the keys in it while you go back inside and have yourself a nice cup of coffee and a donut. You're too stupid to live. February 5th, 2013. Item. A woman told police that her ex-boyfriend bit her on the big toe during a dispute. Her big toe during a dispute. I say her big toe. Meanwhile, Irish County votes to let some drunk drivers drive drunker. And I just love that word, drunker. Quoting the article, Counselor and County Kerry pub owner Danny Healy Ray introduced the bill, arguing that citizens driving while intoxicated in rural areas have never killed anybody. Yet! This can't possibly go wrong either. <sighs> Grandmother's remains lay in Clearwater Storage Unit. For 17 years she was in there. Quote, Police said the dead woman's granddaughter told police officers that she didn't know about the remains until last year when her mother revealed on her mother's deathbed that her grandmother was stored in the Clearwater Storage Unit, specifically Unit B-8. So I'm thinking that her mother didn't want to end up in the storage unit, or maybe she did, with her mother for another 17 years. <sighs> Finally, item, 
Bend man shot by wife's gun improving. Does that mean the wife's gun is improving? Does that mean that the wife's aim is improving? Presumably the Bend, Oregon man who is shot is improving. I want to quote one of the witnesses to this shooting where a woman had a Derringer 22 caliber in her pocket in McDonald's in Bend, Oregon and she bent over to pick something up. The Derringer fell to the floor, went off and shot her husband in the gut. Could happen to anybody. Christina Burley stated, quote, Thank God it wasn't me, unquote. 